primary school would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the people of the Kulin Nation, and pay our respects to elders past and present. Hi everyone, stepping in for Mr. Rolf this week. Hopefully you're having a wonderful week and it is the second day of winter so it's starting to get a little bit cold. We do encourage students to find those warmer items of their uniform and wear them to school because you will be freezing out there once the really cold days set in. Just a reminder too that there's a bit of lost property in lost property so if you're missing a jumper you might like to come and see if yours is in there. This weekend is a long weekend so it is the Queen's birthday weekend so Monday is a holiday for all our students and teachers and a reminder too that at Bunnings in Cranbourne this week beginning from about 8.30 there is a sausage sizzle and all proceeds raised from that sausage sizzle will go towards building our playground or extending our playground. So I'd love to see you there with lovely hot sausages and lots of drinks and things for you to buy. Last Saturday some of our staff, or quite a few of our staff, participated in an amazing race in the city. We had about five or six teams and we were challenged to do a few things around the city. The winning team comprised of Miss Forsket, Miss Klimic, Miss Solomon, Miss Gardner, Miss Arkley, Miss Cardona and Mrs Lonsdale. It was a great day and loads of fun for the staff, so lots of stories that the staff have been telling this morning about how much fun they had in the city on Saturday. So that's about all from me. I really hope you have a great week and enjoy that long weekend and meet us at Bunnings Warehouse on Monday for our sausage sizzle. Thanks everyone. Hey, my name's Amaru. And my name's Mason. We're in 6X and we're going to do some magic tricks. Okay. He's going to make a card. He's not going to get down my sleeve. See the card? Mm hmm. Can you see it now? Mm hmm. No, it's gone. It's good. Everybody and welcome to the SRC News. I'm Anchor Man Brody and I'm Anchor Woman Ali. Well done to the Grade 3 5 students for completing that plan recently. It's been a very busy couple of weeks at Cranbourne East Primary School. We hope everybody has liked the extracurricular activities such as camp, rock climbing, and swimming. Let's now cross to our roving reporters. Hi, my name's Jelani and I'm a camp. How's your day been? My day has been awesome. Uh, we won all our games and we're just about to win our four. Just oh, I need to go! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> go, Tim! We would like to congratulate our, all our students involved in Lightning Premiership. The results were football first, soccer semi finals, T ball came second, and volleyball and netball. We played tough games and we all streams did their best. The firefighter on the go. Here is my helmet, here is my hose. When I see a fire, hear me shout. Turn on the water and put the fire out. Hi, my name is Cameron Brown. This is Blurb of the Week. May I have the book, please? Thank you. This week we'll be looking at The Headless Highwayman by Ian Irvine from the Grim and Grimmer series. The blurb on the back says, The Fae Queen Emma Jigar is stealing the children of Grimmery for her collection. She bathes in their nightmares to relieve her own. There is one nightmare she wants most of all. If I could stay at home that Tuesday, he would not have betrayed a princess or robbed a murderous queen. 
he would not he would not have been tied to an insane imp desperate to eat his liver. He certainly would not have floated across a strange land on an impossible rescue mission powered by exploding manure, nor would he have a nor would he have tried to escape via the dis the that disastrous troll bomb door. But can he ever escape the Nightmare Queen? This book can be found in the R IRV section in the library. Thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, uh, come here. Cut from tip. Show him. Show the audience. Show him. Don't show Mason though. Okay. Show Amaru. Got it? Yeah. Alright, put it on here. Show him. I don't know what I don't know what the car is, but what was your car? Ace of Hi and welcome to this week's episode of the Scoop. <laughs> We are talking to the teachers. Hello, Ms. Richardson. Hi, Michelle. So, why do you love ICT? I really like ICT because it is new, um, it's always changing, it's engaging, and there's always something new to learn. So, what have you been doing in ICT lately? This term in ICT, with the preps and grade ones, we've been working on our logging on and logging off. We've been working on using Word, writing our names, adding pictures, creating documents, saving them, uh, opening them, and logging off and shutting down. Well, thank you for coming and talking with us for the scoop. Thanks for the interview, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'd just like to introduce you to our newest staff member, maybe, or potential enrolment. This is Archer, and it's Miss Burns' lovely new little boy. So welcome to the world, Archer. Hello. <laughs> and how, what's mother would like, Miss Burns? Um, pretty good. He's a pretty good baby. He doesn't cry much, so it's been good so far. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so welcome, Archer. And he, he's added to the collection of babies that we're collecting this year. So <laughs> welcome, and congratulations to Miss Burns, thank you. Hello. What grade do you teach? I teach grade three. How do you like teaching? I like teaching because I like working with children and I like helping them learn and helping them grow as a person. <laughs> Have you had any other class besides grade three? I've taught grade five, grade six and grade two. What's been the highlight of your year so far? A lot of my year so far was um, just getting to know my grade three students and also going on the swimming and helping them learn to swim. What are you looking forward to? Oh, I'm looking forward to camp and I'm looking forward to the end of the year and helping them learn along the way. Thank you, Mr. Week, for coming in today. No worries. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Miss W. Miss W, what do you teach? I teach PE for the prep Street threes. Miss W, why do you love PE? I love PE because kids get to get outside of class and be active. What got you into doing PE? Um, well, I got into PE because I really liked PE when I was at school, so I thought it would be a fun thing to teach. What are some of the highlights of things you're looking forward to this year? Um, I think I'm looking forward to the junior school athletics carnival that I will be running later on in the year. Sounds fun. Well, thank you for coming in with us today. I hope the rest of the year is awesome. Right, thank you. This week's Shining Star Award winners. And just a reminder to log on to Compass. And then I'm going to do one which is like, I have to spell the card out. So I put three cards in a pile. All right, can you tap on one of these cards? Okay. So this card is the three diamonds, right? Three yep. diamonds. Diamonds. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put that on top of these piles. I have to spell the card out. T H O E T. Alright, yeah. T A R E T. That's a spell magic out. M A M A G I C. Thank you.
Last week, 84 students received a bronze mathematics certificate and 20 students received a silver certificate. Congratulations to the following three students for earning a gold certificate. Cadence in Year 2, Bash Navi in Year 5 and Joshua in Year 6. Well done, everybody. Manamana. 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 Manamana.